Hello and welcome everyone, Nicholas from Bicycle here and right now I'm sitting on the brand new Brompton G. In this video we are going to have a closer look and find out what it's all about. But not from me, someone who has been working on this bike for a few years. Hi guys, my name is Tom Carr, I'm the design lead at Brompton. Has been working on this project for the past six years for the G line. So, so what we've done is really try to look at what makes a great riding folding bike. And what I mean by that is what do people need in, an, in a folding bike that they want to want to go further distances on, and more importantly, live in cities where they want to be able to explore as well, further than the further than they've been able to with a 16-inch bike. We've got a non-electric and electric version that share a lot of the frame set componentries, and then we've been really smart with how we've basically swapped over in the new integrated electric system on, on this bike. So we've considered that from the very beginning and that's been a massive challenge for us to effectively get a bike that looks like a non-electric bike but with the full electric system integrated into it. Along the way, we've done loads of work on the geometry on this bike. And what I mean by that is it's more stable, it's more, um, more capable and more comfortable over, over longer terrains. You know, we've known that the 16 inch bike is a great bike for the city and from a portability perspective and a jump on the train, jump on the tube perspective, you know, that's the bike that you really want. But when you want a Brompton, where you want to get out of the city or the city's got a, you know, rough tarmac as, as many and many cities across the world now do, um, you know, the G line and the electric G line is really the bike that you want to get on. Super comfortable, great for all day riding, great for just going to the shops, but great for enjoying it at the weekend as well. It's it's a bigger bike proportionally, um, but it still looks like a Brompton. But as a result of that, the weight has just creeped up a little bit. So um, a standard build is coming in at just about 14 kilos, and that's in a medium with, with a rack um, and with mud guards as well. The small, so we've got three sizes. So we've got a small, a medium, and a large. Um, and the difference in those is the seat post that obviously extends further, but then the handlebar support at the front of the bike is the key bit there. So that basically gives you, turning on the size, more or less reach and more or less, um, yeah, sorry, more or less reach and more or less stack. Um, and really that's to make it simpler for people to choose the size of bike they want. And also is to, is to make sure that every rider feels the same on the bike. So I was really keen that actually, you know, it's the same experience no matter what size rider. Um, and that stays consistent through the, through the sizes of the bike. We've put more miles in developing this bike than we've ever done with a project before. It's really important for a couple of reasons. One, because we've had the 16 inch bike out on the market for so long, and effectively we've got 50 years of legacy to, to live up to. And two, we want to make sure that this can actually really be truly capable in the environments that, that we want, to, um, want, want people to enjoy and ride it in. So in terms of kind of how far you can push it, this is really the sort of perfect multi-terrain bike. Um, you can do some rather crazy stuff on it, not that I would, not that I would say that, that, that you can go and instantly do that, but you know, super at home on the gravel tracks of Girona, definitely I can vouch for that myself, um, but equally perfectly happy on, on tarmac and everything sort of jumping in between. We've been listening to customers over the years, hearing all the crazy journeys that they do on a 16 inch bike, um, and also the demands of, of what they want that, that bike to do. So disc brakes, bigger gear ratios, um, you know, a more bike-like feel, and actually this is where this bike really excels. You can be sat on this thinking that you're on a full-size bike, um, but then you look down and then you realize obviously you're, on a, you're still on a small wheel bike. So, you know, bigger wheels, sure, but they're still compact. So we've got 20 inch 406 wheels, we've got two variants. We've got the Continental Contact that you can see behind me. Um, and then we've got the Schwab all-round tire down there. So this is really where this bike has been designed around, this sort of like multi-terrain, you know, absolute cruiser that you can sit on all day and enjoy. The small wheels still give that, that sort of like sense of fun and, re and response, but just so much more relaxed and so much more dependable than, uh, than the 16 inch bike. There's more tires in a 20 inch format than there definitely is in a 16 inch format. And originally when we started the project, like way, way, way back, sort of like before COVID, that was definitely a problem, which is why we decided to, to partner with Schwalbe to make these all round tires just for us. So the tubeless ready, but set up within a tube out of the factory, and then we'll sell a tubeless upgrade kit that you can, that you can set up. And that allows you to really drop that pressure, especially great for comfort, puncture resistance, you know, all the good stuff that tubeless, tubeless brings you on a full size bike. Now you can do that on a, on a 20 inch bike as well. So one of the standout features on the G-Line bike is the fact that we've got hydraulic disc brakes um, compared with actually a Shimano Alfine eight speed system on the back. So Tektro, well, TRP Tektro uh, flat mount hydraulic disc brakes, really great for advanced riders, but also more importantly, beginner riders as well. So 
super dependable, just works straight out of the box. And actually that's where the Brompton really excels when you buy this, this bike brand new. It's gonna be the quickest bike that you can set up straight out of the box and start enjoying. The only thing you've got to worry about is putting the saddle on. Um, and that's it and you're ready to go. With a Shimano Alfine, obviously you get that reliability and you get that performance you expect with Shimano. Super simple, you've got standard um, sequential shifter on the right side, which is actually manufactured by MicroShift and it just allows you to forget about that gear range, you know, and you don't have to think about that changing experience. On the electric bike, we've also got the Brompton four-speed system. Again, super compact, really lightweight, and actually a great gear ratio for, for um, riding around the city. So the key thing for me, to, and just to sort of finish, is that, you know, as soon as you get on this bike, you realize how good this bike is. So, you know, my big thing is get down to a Brompton dealer, get on a bike, try it out, um, and see how enjoyable it is for yourself. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think about the brand new Brompton G. I personally love it and it's definitely a bike I might consider buying. Until next time, peace.